Hey guys, it's Michelle again with Sportsbook Revolution TV. It's been a crazy week so far, and we're looking forward to an even crazier Thanksgiving weekend coming up, starting with college football. If you weren't sitting in front of the TV on Saturday night switching between the Oregon Stanford and the K-State Baylor games, you definitely missed out. On a rare night college football, both the number one and number two schools in the BCS standings were knocked off, which hadn't happened since 2007. With a tremendous defensive effort, Stanford was able to get by a heavily favored Oregon team with a field goal in overtime, and Baylor absolutely demolished the K-State Wildcats 52-24. The real impact of those games, however, lies in what is coming up this weekend. After taking care of Wake Forest at home on Saturday, Notre Dame sat back and watched as their BCS rankings spike to the number one spot in the country and looked back to seeing Alabama as the new number two. So this sets up an interesting scenario, doesn't it, guys? Notre Dame travels to meet USC for its final game of the regular season. If they get by the Trojans, they are assured a spot in the national championship game. And Alabama should dispense of Auburn fairly easily to coast into an SEC championship game against Georgia that should dictate the team to take on the Irish in January. In fact, Word Out of Vegas is predicting that an Alabama-Notre Dame national championship game would be among the most heavily bet college games in history. And although that may be a likely scenario, there are plenty of other things that can happen as well. Let's move on to the NFL. Week 11 was full of some down-to-the-wire action. Three of Sunday's games finished in overtime, and many of the favorites had to pull out late-game comebacks to grab wins and cover the spreads. There were a couple of interesting surprises, though. Take the 8-1 Texans at home against the 1-8 Jaguars. After losing starting quarterback Blaine Gabbert in the first few minutes of the game, the Jags brought in backup Chad Henney, who led the league's absolute worst offense to a shootout with number one Houston. And although the Texans were able to pull out a victory, they certainly didn't cover the 15 points they needed, and you've got to believe in anything. It was a moral win for Jacksonville. Another surprise came on Monday night in what was set up to be a huge defensive clash between the Chicago Bears and the 49ers. The surprise was that the Chicago defense couldn't find a way to stop a San Francisco offense led by first-time starter Colin Kaepernick, who was in for an injured Alex Smith. The 49ers disposed of the Bears rather easily with a score of 32-7. With all that being said, though, I don't think this past week's games can compare with what's coming up. There's just something so right about Thanksgiving weekend in the NFL. Yeah, nothing like stuffing yourself and then sitting back on the couch for an afternoon of Turkey Day football. If you're into placing some wagers, the news is that there is a particularly nice-looking parlay set up for this weekend. Take a peek at these matchups. The Texans as a three-point favorite over the Lions, the Cowboys as a four-point favorite over the Redskins, and the Patriots as a seven-point favorite over the Jets. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a four-shore bet to me. Well, I don't want to take too much of your time on this holiday weekend. I'm sure you've got some cooking to do or family to visit with. But before I go, let's take a look at some other sports out there just to spice things up. So with all the football this weekend, did anyone catch who the new NASCAR Sprint Cup champion is? Here's a hint. It's not Jimmy Johnson. It's Brad Keselowski, who won the Ford Echo Boost 400 over the weekend at 7-1 to odds and took home the overall championship trophy for the season. Or how about the MLS playoffs? That's right, we're actually down to the final two teams in America's other football game. After L.A. got past Seattle and Houston beat out Washington, D.C., the two winners are now looking at one game winner-take-all championship match for the MLS Cup on the 1st of December. But watch out, Houston fans. The L.A. Galaxy is heavily favored to win on December 1st. Okay, that's going to do it for me. Everybody enjoy the holiday. I'm Michelle, and I look forward to seeing you next time on Sportsbook Revolution TV. Welcome to the revolution.